Hello and welcome to the Horror Hour, the place we discuss, we debate, we disagree on all things horror. But for today, well, we got a little bit of a treat. We actually got a couple things dropping today. Um, we got the chance to see, um, well, a new recent four-part documentary series dropping on Netflix on Wednesday, March 16th. It's called Bad Vegan, Fame, Fraud, Fugitives. Oh, and it's the story of uh, Sarma Mangalis, who is a celebrity restaurateur uh, for the New York hotspot Pure Food and Wine. Never been, but it looked good. Uh, and it just kind of, this documentary talks about her rise, talks about her marriage, and how she ended up becoming a fugitive. And it does, you know, in the trailer, if you know, and I remember this story from a while back, they were caught because she ordered a Domino's pizza. Who does that? Speaking of that, I might order some Domino's. I'm a vegan, I can order Domino's. It's true. So with that, let's just talk about what we liked, what we didn't like, and would we recommend it? So here's what I liked. I enjoyed just, you know, actually they were interviewing her the entire time. And I think the intro, that was the best thing ever though. Not, there were other good things, but when she's like, I don't give a fuck, I'm gonna record him. And just <laughs> was like, yes, I was like, okay. Um, but I do appreciate, we do get to see part of her, we get to see how she was when she was growing up. I, I do think again, sad, but it's definitely, it's a tale of a woman who is insecure, you know, kind of bad at business, took a lot on. And I think the responsibilities became too heavy at times. And this man, this individual kind of promised a lot of things. And I feel like there were some brainwashing tactics in my opinion. What do you think, Liam? Oh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I don't think she was bad at business. I will point point that out from my side of things. I think she was a good business person. The business was thriving. Um, I think she is a bad judge, bad judge of character. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I agree that, yeah, she did probably get brainwashed. Um, but that's obviously something that people, when they're watching it, <clears throat> can make their own minds up on. Um. I think it was a really fun because it was quite a condensed series. Um, it was fun to watch. I it, when it first started out, I was like, "Oh, is this going to be like the new Tiger King? Is it going <laughs> to like keep up with like Tinder Swindler?" Um, I don't think it's going to be Tiger King levels. Um, I do think when it comes out, it might hit around the same level as like the Tinder Swindler did. Um, but downside, I also think it's going to have the same negative connotation that the Tinder Swindler had, which is, I think, a large consensus of people that watch this are going to say exactly the same things as what they did about the, the women in the Tinder Swindler, which is stupid woman. And it's going to become her fault. Like, like with the Tinder Swindler, it became their fault. It's okay. a shame because yeah. her, her story should be told. Um, but judging from watching this, she seemed she does seem like a really nice person. And I don't think she's ready for what's about That's to happen. the, you know, I will say that as a takeaway too. I'm a little nervous. Um, because even in the interviews, which I think is like, I think the fact that, you know, she did this, kudos to her, but you could tell in the interviews she was still she felt uncomfortable. That's how it came across. And I think that's, you know, somebody, me, didn't turn off his notifications. Tisk, tisk, I thought it was off. Um, but yeah, I, I think that she's, there's gonna be a shit storm coming. And I will say part of it though, I was a little uh, shocked when you find out the total dollar amount that was given, cause whoa. And then obviously the reveal that they later do, I'm like, oh, fuck, that's insane. I, I think what works for this though, is it is condensed. I 
honestly, I will say if, if I'm going to give this a negative, because there are a couple, they could have taken an episode out or two. Like, honestly, this could have been a two and a half hour documentary movie, in my opinion. Yeah, I will agree. Um, so I'm not saying that there's fluff, but I'm certainly saying certain things were repeated over and over. Like, I get what this person did, but they did the same thing over and over. So for me, I was like, oh, oof. But I, I mean, I feel for Sarma because that was, oh, and I am a, um, yeah. a dog lover and that dog was adorable. So I'm just, just saying, but uh, I, I don't know how to explain that part when she was going to believe that they were going to make her dog immortal. I was right. a little like, um. Um, I do think it was cool, too, that they actually had um, staff members, you know, from the restaurant yes. in the interview. And some of it was kind of funny. They were, <laughs> some of them had some good <laughs> lines. I love that one about the meat suit. I don't know. Do I want to know? I, I, I was like, I love you. <laughs> I liked her as well. I was like, oh, she's, she's funny. Um, yeah. I, <laughs> I appreciate her. And I also liked... Um, the, I believe it was um, working for One Lucky Duck. Um, this is the graphic the designer. With the glasses. The graphic designer with the glasses, yes. I thought he was quite amusing as well. And sexy. Um, I mean, that never hurts. Um, <laughs> <It's safe. laughs> um, yeah, I, I would I wouldn't say negative, but I do agree that it would be it could have been shorter. Um, I don't think we needed to be told 40 times over the same yes. thing. And that that that's why, um, I, yeah. Yeah. I would say the middle two episodes could have easily been put into one episode. Because all I, of the main stuff is in the end of the first, like, is in the first episode and it's in the last episode. Mm-hmm. Um, the middle two are kind of like I wouldn't say filler. Um, I would. Sorry. I would, but they are they are filler episodes. But <laughs> I would say because they give, but they do give you. I think you can get the story from the first and the last episode, and the middle just gives you like a bit more story, if that makes sense. Like, yes, and you know. <sighs> I mean, again, I loved the interviews with the staff members like those. Yeah. I Because honestly, I will say this is, I think, again, I feel for Sarma. She, like you said, bad judge of character. I'm still going to stick by some of the bad business because I think at a certain point she just, the business became too much that she just didn't want to, like, you know, I think part of it was her life was spinning out of control. So the business was too much. I don't know. However, I think she's likable. I think she's got a long road ahead of her. But the story was very intriguing because I, the entire time, just kept saying there, go, is this really happening? Get the, f- what? Like, I, it was just so unbelievably bizarre. Like, it, the brainwashing like all of this and then there were i will say actually here's here's some negatives too though there were certain things that i don't think they fully finished like it wasn't revealed in a sense with um the other individual like the blood stains and, like i don't think they really delved into what that dude was doing oh no and no. i wanted to know Honestly, I was like, that I is... don't think they do know. I think I think that's the problem. I think he doesn't obviously want any involvement in this was all yes. Um from Sama's perspective, and it was her story. Um so I don't think they took the time to go out and get the information, the, like the extra information on him. They got yeah, because he wouldn't give it surface. Yeah, they got surface level information. Yeah, um, and that's what they stuck with, which is fine. Um, it just means 
that you're kind of like itching for a little bit more, mm-hmm. but you're not going to get it. So yeah, that that's the only, uh, would I say watch this? Absolutely. Cause I still had Most a great definitely. time. Um, I, like you said, the middle, the two middle episodes, like episode two and three, uh, I'm not going to lie. I fidgeted with my phone. I still listen though, because that's really, um, but there are times you actually do have to be watching because then they just show text messages or like, you know, <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, guys, come on. But either way, it is actually really interesting. I also think it's a good study on um, basically mental health as well. Because like I said, like Liam had mentioned too, I really hope that she doesn't get, you know, negative pushback because clearly I think she's still actually, like I said, in the interviews, it still feels like she's traumatized from what happened. And rightfully yeah. so, just, I would say the tactics he used. And when you hear that over and over, because, okay, another what we keep saying, like, the only negative thing, like I said, the filler parts, and maybe some things left. But the fact that you do get to hear those recordings, because there's more than one, that's she what was really kind of, okay. mm-hmm. That's what made it very like, oh, okay. So yep. again, I would say if you've got time to invest, it honestly, I benched it all in one night. <laughs> no, I did too. Yep. Guys, listen, we we suggest watching it. And again, I know you're coming here like, you guys are horror. We do have time to watch other things. So exactly. Let us live our little... Yeah, we're just branching out. And besides, this is kind of a true life horror tale. I mean, when you find out just how how deep it goes... To be fair, it is a a real life horror because it shows us the true extent of that we like to think the world has changed when it comes to how women in the public eye are treated. They're not. Like, when this... People like you said at the beginning, he can remember when this all came out. This all came out because it was a really fun headline of Yep, a vegan mm-hmm. is caught because she had a Domino's pizza. She's a fuck, she's a vegan, of course. Who ate only ate raw food. Of course, she didn't have a Domino's pizza. But that is the headline that they could run with. And that is what's already happening. Once the reviews are able to come out on this, mm-hmm. that is already happening. So we like to. So really, it is it 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 is a horror story because it's a horror of how people are treated by the press. So well, it's not just we that. I mean, you, again, that that was some a level brainwashing, like the tactics this man used and the way that he literally broke her down in a sense mentally. Like, uh, I think that was the part where I, while I was watching, like, again, I, it's just a bizarre journey, but I was like, okay, it was just, it was brutal. And, um, yeah, I, I really hope the best for Sarma. And I don't think at least watching it, you, you clearly tell that she still, or well, Actually, I don't know if I felt that because I still think she's like, you know, again, PTSD from this. But you can still tell that the staff still really care for her because she is a good person. Yeah. And so it's it's very interesting um, to see that. But honestly, I'm a big fan of Netflix documentaries, and I hope they keep coming because so far... I mean, between this, worst roommates ever, I'm, you know. They're doing well. And the Tinder Swindler, which I haven't finished. I'm so oh, bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, guys, if you like, if you enjoy us reviewing other things, comment down below. Let us know. And if you don't, come down below. I've seen some worse things, so mm. it's okay. We might we have more manipulative it. Mondays. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, and that notification bell so you're notified every time we got new content. And we actually do have some really good content that also drops today. And that is the review of Deep Water. 
Till next time, thank you and bye.